The meeting place is Slough, Buckinghamshire, where the latest types of British-made tractors are viewed by the Minister of Supply, Mr. George Struss. The wide range of accessories which now accompanies the modern tractor is revolutionising fieldwork. By taking full advantage of each new step in mechanisation, British farm workers have raised their output per man well above that of any other nation in the world. The minister himself is no mere planner. The hand which drives the pen can also tackle practical tools. Mr Strauss earns his agricultural diploma. Returning from Berlin, presumably to report to the War Office on the situation there, the Field Marshal Montgomery faces the press. He routes them single-handed and dodges the questions of the Pathé reporter like a seasoned politician. We heard a lot about your dinner with Marshal Sokolowski yes, last yes, night. Was it successful? Very good, yes. Did you discuss the details of recent difficulties with him, sir? We discussed all sorts of things that soldiers discuss when they come together. Uh, I hope it's not impertinent. Can you give me a personal opinion on the attitude of the Russians in Berlin, sir? Well, that's uh, not for me to say. I'm a soldier. You must go and ask the, uh, the uh, people who deal with it. I don't live in Germany. Now, uh, coming home again, sir, what do you think about the budget? Well, I've only heard from what you've told me here, because last night, you see, I was having this dinner party and I was talking with uh, Marshal Sokolovsky, and I really haven't heard about it. All I've heard is that uh, income tax has come down. Is that true? Uh, yes, that is so, sir. Oh, Cigarettes good. have gone up. Yeah, well, I don't smoke. It doesn't affect me. And there's uh, two informants on a bottle of whiskey, sir. Well, I don't drink whiskey. It doesn't affect me either. <laughs> so none of those things affect me. I'm sorry for the people they do affect. It doesn't affect me. I see, sir. Ah, well, that's that. Till next September. Yes, Dick yeah. Barton is off the air for six months, and desolation faces five million children. Well, now, how do you feel now it's all over? As an actor, rather glad to have a rest from playing one character, even such a grand character as Barton. But it's been suggested that the Barton series is a menace to the children of the country. Do you agree to that? I sometimes wonder if a lot of these critics of the programme have ever really listened to it. No, I think that they think that Barton is a sort of glorified crook. He isn't at all. He always beats the crooks. He should be an inspiration. He always proves that crime cannot pay. I quite agree. <laughs> what are you going to do now? Have a holiday, I hope. <laughs> well, yes, as my wife says, have a holiday. A long music hall tour in the character of Noel Johnson. Posing with officers of the Royal Berkshires at their Reading depot, the King provides the regimental photo album with a permanent record of his visit. The first since he became Colonel-in-Chief of the regiment in May last year. Serving personnel and over a hundred old comrades who have vivid memories of the Boer War and Egyptian campaigns turn out for inspection by His Majesty. The King chats to veterans whose recollections embrace much of the regiment's colourful history and whose medals testify to the role that each one played in compiling its long list of achievements. Mm -hmm. 